So we've had to learn this the hard way. Okay, one of the things about having a rural property or um, just a piece of land, especially if a body of water on it, is taking care of the body of water. I know that a lot of you probably have swimming pools, you take care of the chemicals and stuff. A lake is the same way. So there's a couple of different chemicals that we use to make sure that during the summertime the algae gets kicked back. But usually this time of year, which we call mud season here in Tennessee, <laughs> you kind of see the murkiness of the lake right now. And the reason it's so murky is because we've had a tremendous amount of rain. On well, the runoff. And the runoff yeah. from other fields and everything. Right. What we have to do is, you know, before that sediment settles down, you know, we're gonna have to go and, when I say we, I mean like the Royal We Holly, is gonna have to get on the little kayak because there's <laughs> size limitations of those things. And she actually paddles out there and clears the drain because all the leaves that have fallen in the fall have clogged up the drain now. So. Yeah, so there's a spill out on the other side of the dam that's directly controlled by how much water is actually in the lake, mm -hmm. which this is what? four and a half acre, five yeah. acre lake. So anyway, I have to paddle out to the drain. The problem is the drain is now underwater, but we have to get really creative. It's like hide and seek. About finding the drain and then clearing the drain when it's under your boat. This was one of those things we didn't know about having a farm and having having just yeah having a body property. of water yeah. to to take care of but i like to paddle and so i really don't mind it the only inconvenience is it's pretty cold today <laughs> you know if she goes in the drink we're gonna have a problem yeah it, thankfully it's not that deep over there no but it, it's not that's not an experience i want to have today some things to consider also is that you know she has a life jacket on i do she has boots on that she can kick off if she needs to to swim True. and there's another person here because we wouldn't do this alone without one of us being here we actually have a neighbor who passed away work on the aeration from uh, from their pond. So it, it's sad he drowned and he was a grown man. You do want to take some safety precautions, but again, if you want to own uh, acreage or if you want to dig a pond, these are things you have to consider. Is yeah, know not, what you're getting into. Yeah, not just leaking, <laughs> not just, you know, we'll hold water or, you know, what's growing on the back of the dam. It's, you know, is it turning into a big bowl of pea soup? Is it clear? And right. Well, and look behind us. Can you see our dock is disappearing? So yeah. that's normally a good indicator that the drain is clogged and that someone, also known as me, needs to uh, paddle out and do something about it. If any of you want to come out here and paddle out and do something about it. We'll let you do it. We're happy to let you, but. Yeah, uh, just leave us a comment. Yeah, yeah, just, just <laughs> let us know. We're gonna let Holly go out there now and let you all watch. So let's get to work. Let's go. But it makes it easy getting in the water. Oh, yeah, I mean, the water's just right there. <laughs> it's not, not very far. Here's the back side of the dam, which is super wet and still <laughs> covered in frost. Y'all about to watch me bust my rear end, but here it is.
Oh, the things we do for good video. If y'all haven't liked this video or commented yet, please do so. We're working hard for you. Okay, the way this dam is built is that you have a spillway. Uh, there's a spillway over there, but also on the top side, which if you've ever watched our vent track video, there's a spot on the back where if the drain is too full, it'll spill over here. Which clearly over the years it's done. Well, it goes without saying that I'm appreciative to have a partner in my wife that is adventurous and loves this lifestyle as much, if not more, than I do. I like the machines, I like digging in the dirt, but all these little jobs, you know, they can be a lot more dangerous with one person and I would need a much bigger boat. Well, I'd be remiss if I didn't go ahead and give some advice to all the young men out there who don't have wives yet or aren't married yet. Fellas, get yourselves a woman who's not afraid to get in a kayak, paddle out there and clean out a nasty drain because that's the kind of woman you can build a life around and that's the kind of woman who's gonna have your back at all times. So, appreciate y'all watching this video. Catch you in the next one.